horrible car crash in Rockland County that ended the life of a popular student from Haverstraw and injured three of his friends. They were all ejected from the car at the time. The 17-year-old victim, a passenger in the back seat, that car smashed right into a utility pole, split it in half actually because of a guide wire. Again, three of those people were ejected from a car. Those three people were taken to the hospital for minor injuries, but again, a 17-year-old lost his life in that accident. News 12's Kelly Jelinski was at the scene after the crash. She spoke with police about their investigation. This is an investigation that is still open at this point. Kelly joins us now. Terror remnants of this fatal crash are still visible. You can actually still see the skid marks showing where the Honda Civic carrying four teenagers careened out of control before crashing. Well, I've been a police officer for 30 years. Uh, I've seen accidents before. I've never seen a car destroyed this, this badly in all the years that I've been a police officer. This is all that's left of the Honda Civic. The car sheared in half after smashing into a utility pole along Route 304. This is actually a new pole. The old one was demolished by the impact and had to be replaced. The force of the crash sent three of the 14 boys inside flying from the car. One 17-year-old from Haverstraw was killed almost instantly. Police say he'd been sitting in the back seat on the driver's side. The driver and the other passengers were seriously injured but are expected to live. 17-year-old Amar Miku tells us he went to North Rockland High School with three of the boys. He stopped by the crash scene after visiting his friends in the hospital. According to Amar, the victim's name was Jensi Mendez. Police have not confirmed that name, however, but Amar says he took karate lessons with Jensi. He was a cool outgoing guy. He was like, I don't know how to explain it, but he was cool to hang out with. Good friend, yeah. I miss him. And all day, people have been stopping by the scene to check it out for themselves. No doubt this spot will be remembered for a long time as a place of tragedy. Reporting in New City, Kelly Jelinski, News 12, Westchester. Tara. All right, thank you, Kelly. We just learned uh, just a moment ago that that victim was a senior at North Rockland High School. According to police, only the driver of the car was wearing a seatbelt. No word yet on a cause or whether excessive speed or alcohol or drugs, for that matter, were a factor at all. See extended video from today's top stories. Go to Channel 612 and select I.O. Extra. Only on News 12 Interactive. As local as local news gets.